And now, it's one, two, three, four, five. Track is live and we are away. And it looks like Mir is on fine form once again, looking to keep that point proven with the start. And just like that, we have gone one corner and it's a VSC as Jackson missing a front wing is going to be limping straight back to the pits. And we just started here. Yes, but uh, that's... Work the best magic they can as a means to get some space on the track. Even under the VSC, you can sort of tweak the times a little bit. You can really run to the once again. As it's looking like another drag race between Emir and Bill Bass here. Side by side, say not quite the Ferrari return that Emir, I imagine, was expecting. But it's still certainly getting a run for his money One, at the top. Uh, I mean, AJ is experiencing some sort of technical issues inside that car at the moment. Not quite sure if you can get that result. He's had that before in the past, hasn't he? Lately, he's had a lucky break, but not today so far. Currently running a P17. It really, it really doesn't seem to be luck on his... Because guys had a spin at the moment, he's got to try to keep it very hard. Remember, not a very good turning circle on these cars. And that's him dropped down into P14 currently at the moment. But still, looks like all the crucial components are attached to the car. Well, at least for the time being, but one that is trouble is Erlinghauser from the sister team of the Bulls. It's going to be Lenny Cook coming out on the outside, getting the superior run with the DRS and the tyre advantage. It's going to be sweeping themselves effortlessly in to, piece to close it, but it's not quite going to be just yet. And uh, down to P14, so the... Um... Aston Martin's managed to gain that position, and Joshua Bashford, I think, has gone around somewhere as well. Two and P16, he's dropped a couple of places. That spacing between yourselves and other drivers. One who hasn't got it so lucky is Kloss, as Il Corpi is going to be running on the inside in that in that Ferrari, and is going to be just sweeping it through, so almost effortlessly so. so getting that and covers off that corner at the moment, P5. Remember, the hard tyre is doing a solid job. How long can he hold up but against the medium runner? As now, Lenny makes another run. Just going to be this time he is just a local yeah, yellow. I think it's Joshua. Yeah, Joshua's had a bit of a moment. Yes, and that is going to be no front wing too. Just the entrance of yeah. the pits, luckily. So managing to do a little bit of damage. So Cook, control. are they making a gamble on their tires? Perhaps. I'd say so. Hard tires for both. So straight to the uh, for the end of the race then, possibly if you want. As well there, mate, Fred. Bang on Maximum Kloss there. It was good, good outside a little bit. Maximum Kloss made a little bit of an error coming one of the one of the corners, high speed corners there, and just lost a lot of speed, scrubbed it off there, and that is the Red Bull currently up in a P9 now. What a move it was. I say the Red Bulls do just amazing to see how the tires coming into it say, oh Larson going very deep, having to stop and reverse in order to get a line back on the field. And that was a very yeah, and, deep. Uh, that's on Maximum. Maximum Claus, and of course there's Jasper Ten Hacken up the road. So, yep, gets the job, job done there for Lenny. Makes his way up in a P11. Over to the front end, the sharp end of the field to say, look, Corby dropping down massively though. I think they lost the rears. The car still looks to be intact, but they are down to P10 as Larson and Franklin. Ten Hacken wants to be able to be on the lead at the moment because he's going to be losing crucial points out to Imar. Uh, he's trying to make his way back there. Uh, but it's not really one a place you want to be doing an overtake. I don't know if you want to be seeing the checkered flag this evening. It's a great helicopter angle we see sometimes. You can see that the driver's focused right now as you're looking at Bilbus. Now down the, the back straight away and get that letterbox open and let's see if we can get the overtake done. And he's looking oh, left damage. and right. Here we go. You don't want to be risking. But here we go. That is going to be Bill Bass having the DRS, having the significant speed advantage. And is going to be able to secure themselves that position up in P2. Well, so both within a couple tenths of each other. And neither is willing to give the other an inch under any circumstances. They're running their tires to the ragged edge. They are giving each other no space to breathe. Bilbao's going a little bit defensive as a result. Come out on top of the safety car and maybe oh. banking on a bit of a faster tire. Yeah, that's what they've done. The top two have actually switched over to the soft tires. And so that's e all over the all over the world. And you're in some countries where you might be a little bit, mm, I'm not quite sure if I can trust the internet here. 
Bilbus can trust in his uh, acceleration pedal as McLaren leads into the lap, tw lap 21. But immediately having to concede them as the softs are starting to show their strength. Big fighting down the bottom end of the field. Erling Alves having to concede to Zen Hacken and to Cook. Managing to slot himself in just ahead of the Ferrari of Villa Corpi, but Simon not has quite. got two and a one corner if he can make it stick. He's going to go on the outside. There, he will. He'll have to lift off there from Larson. So fantastic job there. Up in a P9 now. Mr. Franklin. So sweeping around both the Aston Martin. And I'm back with a revengeance of the Alfa Tori. Setting a fashion statement very, very early with plenty of laps to go here if he wants to take the lead of this race. Certainly looking at it. Uh, well, well, the pace would have mean that any lead that he had on the hards would have surely diminished very quickly. But as I say, Lapalainen and Cook fighting with each other now. Lapalainen's on the mediums. Doesn't quite have that same speed as a result. This evening. And you can see there, say, everyone's lining up, uh, minus the DNFers, and there we go. Everyone is away, so minor lighting bug with the timing tower, but... Everyone is away, so minor lighting bug with the timing tower, but that is a Bilbas out up ahead, and immediately, you say, we've got spins and contact and fighting down at the bottom end. That looks like Cook, who was on his side. Up at a and... P1. Immediately. Getting there from Bilbas. So fantastic. Looks like Maximum Klosses might have had a little bit of a moment. Took me has gone off. Actually, that's. Uh... Oh no, is that Franklin? Yes, it is. Franklin with a little bit of damage to go, on. guys. It's just to balance that aggression. Everyone needs to be a lot more careful because these 10 laps are so crucial. So Cook and Franklin are battling at the bottom before they try and get back to the rest Start of the. Start the race field. on this one, Thomas. Having a side-by-side -side battle at the moment there with Larson. You can see, see that Alfa Romeo running wide and Hardwick almost getting Fine, juggled. Take a piece of the pie. Both Mercedes pushing and keeping that pressure on as Lapalainen jostles down below. That is Ten Hacken, first of the Silver Arrows to make a move. Ten Brinker was almost tempted to lead on through behind his there team. Luke. Ten Brinker will... End up, but the thing is, before, mate, all of them were nursing some two warnings, and now they got them all reset, so you're all back to zero warnings, but some drivers already on one warning. We're on lap three. Yeah, and as, as we are being policed, particularly and Larson's out. That. Larson's virtual safety car. Larson is in the fence and a lot of damage on that car. He's in the race, but it's going to be almost plump last. He can't even turn that car right now. It's Tokyo drifting here in Miami. A really good launch here. He has had a fantastic launch. He could think about taking this and Johnny into turn one. And you better believe he has done that. So he managed to sneak in back on the racing line in back into the lead of this race. It's a great Brinker move there. Off. Continuing to battle amongst themselves. And you say, look, they're getting wheel to wheel, side to side. They're bashing rubber. They're bashing rims. And they're drag racing down the start finish straight. But in the end, Hardwick's going to be on the At recharge least. for now. Hardwick's still going to give him plenty of a hard time, though. It's drawing back onto the side of him once again. But I don't think it's quite enough as he's now having to nestle back behind, recharge, and now focus he on the needs to stay where he is, but he doesn't necessarily have enough to go for a charge. It's going to be almost a big dive there as it was very late, it looked like, on the brakes from Foss, but it's going to be a move for the Alpha the side, though, as Foss is going to hold the narrow line. Not going to let it go that easily. Has no choice but to dip back for now, but is looking to save for that potential switchback. These two are going to be battling oh, for a lot. We're going to do some switcheroos as we start 11, 7. Of 10, three to go. And any one of these top three are very capable of being on the top step and spraying the fizzy stuff at the Hard Rock Stadium. So you've got to find a way around. Oh, he's definitely found a way around that because Luke has made an error coming out of the corner. Had a little bit of tank slapper. He's lost a bit of end plate. Now he has to commit to the rest of this race right now with that damage. And just like that, that's going to be a lot coming through with two overtakes in the span of a single straight. One by his own, and one by his opponent's admission. But that is a Red Bull up into P5 here. Nobody's abusing turn seven, which is good. But this is where it gets spicy. Foss throws a bit of a dummy on the inside of Bilbas, tries to spook him, closing that gap. 
coming into the technical sector of the Let's track. 44,000 of a second across the line between the two cars. Maybe again, Ben. Whoa, no, that's not going to work out that right now. He's going to come back there. He can probably use the track limit, but there McLaren of Elvis does get it done. Wins the race. And that is going to be...